Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about a player that is high on the Cowboys' radar. This is serious. Boom. Camo, baby. All right, guys. So, uh, Texas Longhorns, they just had their pro day the other day. And uh, the player that we're going to be talking about today is defensive end Joseph Asai. Had an outstanding, very impressive pro day. Vertical of 41.5. A broad jump of 10 feet, 11 inches. Uh, that's about 131 inches overall. A 40 time 4.63 and he did bench 225 at 19 times okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into who was there to look at this this player's uh, pro day you're gonna be pretty uh, impressed here by the interest the very high interest of the Cowboys here so let's get right into this here we go all right guys so we're gonna break down tape after this but real quick uh, Cowboys on hand here you can see two scouts here I believe one is Chris Hall, and I believe the other one is Alex Loomis. But more importantly, look who's here. Will McClay, the big guns are here. So your top three scouts, Chris Hall, assistant director, college scouting, and I think this is Alex Loomis, director of Pro Sky. So pretty big contingency here on hand for Joseph Asai. A little blurb here from Dane Brugler, my trusted source. In his top 12 pass rushers, edge rushers, he has Osai ranked number eight. Okay, there's a quick look at his college stats here at Texas. Uh, pretty much a star of the last two seasons, uh, but not too bad overall. Okay, let's take a look at some plays he has against the, the pro-ready Tevin Jenkins. Here he's going to get pretty much washed out of the play. Here we go. Take a look at this. All right. Here's another stop against Tevin Jenkins. Um, you know, he's this is a pro-ready player, like I said. I don't, he, he does not get any movement on Jenkins here. Take a look at this. Stifled. One of the reoccurring things you'll you'll notice about Osai, he doesn't have much as far as tools in the pass rush attack, as far as moves and that sort of thing. Take a look at this play here. Gets stifled again. All right, this is gonna be the same play, but a different angle. So the good thing about this film is you get you're getting a really good look at Tevin Jenkins. Pro ready, like I said, you know, Osai is not gonna see a lot of tackles of this caliber at the NFL, but it just kind of shows you, you know, that those 19 reps on 225 kind of show up here as far as unable to break away from somebody. He just gets totally stifled by this mauling type of tackle. But uh, that's something that we'll talk about here in a minute. But take a look at this play here. He gets thrown on skates here. Tevin Jenkins, look at this. Wow, the, the ultimate finisher, Tevin Jenkins. All right, let's get back to the, the strength issues that, that you kind of see here against Tevin Jenkins, the 19 reps. Look at Demarcus Lawrence's pro day numbers coming out in the combine. He had the same, 19. And if you remember when, when Demarcus Lawrence came out, he had the same slenderish type of build. He had, When he got into the NFL program, he bulked up, and he's a lot more of an elite type of player now. So any Anybody that has some some doubts about Joseph Asai, I, I wouldn't, you know, put too much into it. You know, he's going to grow into that. I think that's why you see the contingency of Will McClay, Chris Hall, and on everybody here taking a look because I think with the plan here, guys, to be quite honest, is they're looking for the heir apparent to Demarcus Lawrence. Right, Demarcus Lawrence, 29, going on a 30. You need to have a... Uh, a plan in place and I think you get a similar type of player and we're gonna break down more tape here so let's get into that we're gonna take a look at the good now of Joseph Asai so let's get into this now here we go here's a prime example of the agility that you see out of Joseph Asai look at the quick hips the the back pedal you see that 463 speed come into play you want this agility in a player like this and, and I'm gonna give another example of here but to just look at how smooth he is coming out of the snap here in this next play, we're going to take a look at his lateral movement. Okay, more agility here. You're going to see. You're going to see the lateral movement and then shoot back to uh, take on the running back. So, you you really want a complete type of uh, edge rusher. He does that. He's good in the running game and he can pressure the quarterback. So, take a look at this here. He, this is where the tackles for losses come into play. The speed, the lateral movement, the agility. Solid player. This is textbook all the way. Here's another example of a running play. This is gonna be a counter. He doesn't bite on it. You see the lateral movement and he's able to make a play on the running back. I love this play right here. Another nice example of his uh, football intelligence, football IQ, lateral movement, 
plays the run really well. Here you're gonna see him go up against really a tight end. He's gonna he's gonna obliterate anybody. You know, if they put a tight end on him, he's gonna beat him real quick. So he knifes through uh, in the pursuit. That's what you wanna look at here. Look at the pursuit down the line, makes a play on the running back. Awesome play. It's another great play, uh, run support. Gets gets away from the hold that the the tackle does a little bit of a hold here gets in the scrum and makes a play on the running back. I'll say this about Joseph Asai: what what I like about him, what I think he ha really has going for him is his speed. And in this play, he's able to come all the way across, stay in the play in the pursuit, and forces a fumble. I think if he can get some more weapons in his passing attack, you know, um, add some more moves, he can be a more uh, explosive pass rusher. In this play here, he's just gonna pick up a fumble, scoop it up, and, and make a run for it. All right, guys, this is the, literally the last play of the game. Uh, Oklahoma State has the chance to tie the game here with a touchdown, so if you want somebody that can play under the pressure, make big plays in the biggest moments under the lights, Joseph Asai, man, he, he really showed out in this play here. He, uh, he beats the block from Tevin Jenkins. Tevin Jenkins misses the speed here. I think the tight end could have done a better job chipping him. But he gets to the quarterback and makes a play. And uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. You know, a big play and uh, hand in the ground. You know, he is an edge rusher. He is a defensive end. I know there's going to be that conversation. Some three, four teams are looking at him. But the Cowboys are looking at him because, like I said, if you need to get a, a succession plan in place, whether it's, you know, your offensive tackle, your defensive end, in this case, this would be the succession plan. Get somebody younger in here, similar mold of a DeMarcus Lawrence, and can contri contribute right out the gate. All right, guys, so that's my coverage of the Cowboys meeting with Joseph Asai, the edge rusher out of Texas. Let me know what you guys think. Where you rate him at? I have him as a, as a two, three, a second, a third round player. I like Carlos Basham at defensive end in the second round. I have him there with Joseph Asai and Perkins as well. I think those are some names to keep in mind, keep your mind on. But for the Cowboys, as you can tell, the big guns were at this one, and they were front and center looking at Joseph Asai. So he feels the need for the defense. You know, you you need more pass rushers, and you need a succession plan for Demarcus Lawrence. Okay, so guys, shout out to all my my members. Can't do this without you. Continue to hit that subscribe button. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace.